Hello Virgo and welcome to your October 2019. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Virgo. Virgo, you can now find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at SecretTarot1111. And I will leave those links down below in the description box. All right, Virgo. We are going to see how this person is feeling about you. And we are going to see if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you. This is for Virgo, October 2019. How do they feel about Virgo? Okay. Wow. All right. I feel like somebody else got this exact combination. I cannot remember who it was. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So they want you to open your heart to them. They want to get to know you emotionally speaking. They want you to feel safe around them, safe enough to open your heart. They want to get to know you. So to me, this is a very new energy. Okay, so let's see what is going on here, Virgo. This is for Virgo for October 2019. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Virgo, October 2019. How do they feel about Virgo? Ooh. Okay, so they want you to take a risk with them. I think they get a little bit jealous over you. Like if you talk to other people, they don't want any other competition here, okay? They may feel like they're competing with the past a little bit, like you're stuck on past situations. Um, but they are thinking about you a whole lot, okay? They can't move away from the situation. But at the same time, they're seeing you as kind of stuck in the past, all right? And surrounded by thoughts of the past. Um, we have the Eight of Swords. This is Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. I'm going to read the energies of the cards here, Virgo. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if their sign pops up, then... Um, all the better, right? Keep in mind, time is fluid. So you could be dealing with a situation like this right now, or you could be dealing with it in the future. You could have already dealt with it, right? And keep in mind that um, some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So you can see this card both ways. They're surrounded by thoughts of you. Definitely want to get to know you a little bit better and definitely want you to move away from the past. Don't be stuck in the past, right? And don't overthink the situation. They definitely want you to feel safe around them and they definitely want you to trust them, okay? So this is how they're seeing you. I mean, they're seeing you for exactly how you are. A beautiful individual, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Very career focused, very goal oriented, queen of pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you like to work, you like to, um, be focused on your money, your finances, you like to be independent, you like to be able to take care of yourself and those around you that need it, okay? Um, so they see you exactly, you know, the way that you are and they definitely like that about you, Virgo, right? 
So that's very nice. They see you carrying a whole lot. Like you are just weighed down, not only weighed down by a lot of past situations, but just weighed down by everyday things that you have to do, right? Um, people that you have to take care of, all your responsibilities and all of your obligations. And they feel like they could really lighten your load, like they could help you with this. Ten of Wands, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They would really like to take some burdens off of you. Isn't that sweet? I like that. So the ball's in your court here, Virgo, and what you want to do. Um, if you want to get to know this person, if you want to take a chance on this new situation, um, they think the world of you. They definitely see your worth coming through as the Queen of Pentacles, right? They know what they know what you can do, Virgo. So the ball is in your court here, and they feel like it's going to be your decision if you want to get to know them, if you will allow them into your life, if you trust them enough to open up to them, that kind of thing, right? Two of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So... I think when you you do talk to this person about the past, I feel like they can become they get a little jealous. They may not say that, but they just want you to move away from the past, okay? They want you to realize that um not everybody's a bad person and um let me tell you something, they're willing to fight off the competition. This person, I don't feel, is playing any games here with you. They truly want to get to know you. They will take their time with this. They want you to feel safe with them, right? And But I do feel like they can be a little bit jealous-hearted sometimes. So keep that in mind. Five of Wands. This is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. They see you as kind of down, kind of out. They don't want to miss this opportunity with you. Five of Cups, this card has been popping up um, a little bit in everybody's reading. Um, they don't want you to be stuck focused on the past, right? They want you to take a new path towards them, all right? So they don't want you to be stuck in the past. They don't want you to be thinking about the past. They don't want you to be concentrating on the past. They want you to turn around and see this opportunity right behind them. And I want you to see what card was underneath that. The King of Pentacles, right? So we have the King and the Queen of the same suit. So definitely a soulmate connection to me, right? We have the masculine and the feminine of the same suit coming up, seeing eye to eye. You could know this person through work or something like that, right? Um, somewhere where it's a career-focused situation, maybe school, college, work, that kind of thing. Could be a boss, right? But um, Virgo, this is somebody that you see eye to eye with. And I think this combination has popped up for you before in the past few readings, this king and queen of pentacles, right? Very stable, both looking for long-term, um, both looking for stability and something that you can really count on, right? This person can definitely help you with some of the burdens and responsibilities that you have riding on your back, okay? Just saying. All right, so they're gonna want you to open up. They're going to want you to take a risk on a new beginning with them. All right. So they're going to want you to take a chance on them, Virgo. They're ready. Are you ready? They want you to be ready. Okay. So very nice. You see how, you see how wide this man's arms is open. And then we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart. This person their heart is wide open and this is this is what they want okay and i just want to point this out calling in your soulmate i told you it was a soulmate connection this was what was behind this so strong law of attraction card they're trying to call you in they're very much into you virgo all right so let's see what other information we can get this is for virgo 
for October 2019. How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? Or what actions will they take towards Virgo? Ooh, look at that. Okay, so they may feel like, yes, they are competing with the past. And some of you, some of you um, have dealt with, and I know this from reading for you guys for months and months, have dealt with fire sign energies, right? This King of Wands energy, somebody that still keeps cropping up. He's been in your daily readings. <laughs> um, and it's like this new energy is, is not like this, okay? This new energy is very different from a King of Wands energy, okay? But I feel like this King of Pentacles energy gets a little jealous um, over this King of Wands person, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. And you're going to have to, this is fire energy, by the way, somebody that's still passionate about you, somebody that keeps cropping up in your readings from time to time. Some of you like it, some of you don't. This personally, this person certainly does not like it, okay? Just so you know. So, yeah, this King of Wands is still making an appearance in your readings. So you're going to have to make a choice here. The past or your future. Head, a heart overhead decision. And I feel like this King of Pentacles here is a very strong connection for you soulmate connection for you you guys see things the same way you're coming from the same place all right in like every aspect of life right you see things the same way a lot in common that kind of thing a lot to talk about both very goal oriented so very strong connection with this individual but with the lovers here that's gemini energy you're going to have to either completely leave the past behind if you can and move forward with this new energy that wants you to trust them, right? But I'm telling you, this new energy gets a little bit jealous. They feel like they're competing for your attention, okay? So, strength card, Leo energy. They feel like you are really holding back, really holding a lot in that you're being strong, that you're being the rock here. Um, like I said, you know, you're carrying a lot on your shoulders. They see you as being very strong, being very fierce, being very independent, but they know that it's, it's a bit overwhelming for you. It has to be, right? They think in their mind, how could somebody be able to do all of that and, and, have all of these responsibilities they really want to help you out here virgo i'm telling you strength card so they feel like you really hold a lot of emotions inside and this is where this comes in they want to really know you and they want to help you out um strength card here so decisions decisions here virgo are you going to take a risk with this person are you going to take a risk are you going to go on this new journey with this individual hmm? right are you going to go on a new journey with them i feel like you just might i feel like this person's much better suited for you i feel like this could be like the one i really do um it's just a matter of Truly leaving the past behind and uh, going for it, right? Being able to trust it, being able to trust this person. This person is very much into you and they're here to help you, okay? Yeah, they get a little jealous, but hey. Um, they just want you to, to go on a new journey with them, right? They want you to choose them. Virgo, very interesting reading here. And of course we knew he was going to pop back in. All right, Virgo. Wow. Okay, so that is your October 2019. How do they feel about you reading? 
um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter at Secret Tarot 1111. And I will leave those links down below in the description box. You can also find that information in my About section. And what else? There's also a um, schedule there in my About section and in the description box of the video where you can find when your weekly reading will be released. And also there's a live schedule there as well. I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. Next week, Virgo, I'll be working on the October 2019 mid-month readings. So I hope you enjoy that as well. Um, I hope you have a great night and a wonderful week. And I will talk to you very soon. Okay, take very good care of yourself and God bless.